A story now about a British artist whose work has hung in some of the world's most prestigious museums. But as the New York Times reports today, the artist, who goes by the name Banksy, has not been invited to display his work. He sneaks into the galleries and he hangs his work himself. Such cunning in the name of art, we felt, deserved a phone call. So we're on the line with the artist who goes by the name of Banksy. And uh, Banksy, we assume that you are who you say you are, but how can we be sure? Oh, you have uh, no guarantee of that at all. So you, you could be pulling another prank? This could be a better prankster than uh, I was when I went and did that, definitely. So I'm interested in, in how you might see yourself. Do you see yourself as an artist, as a bandit, as a prankster, or all of the above? Painter and decorator. A painter and decorator who happens to hang uh, his work in the Louvre. Yeah, well, you um, you don't want to get stuck in the same line of work your whole life long, do you? Well, th there are so many questions. I mean, in recent weeks, we've managed to hang artwork in at least four major New York institutions, the Museum of Modern Art, the Met, the American Museum of Natural History, and the Brooklyn Museum. How do you do this? How do you get into the building, hang your artwork on the wall without being noticed? Well, um, I learned quite a lot out of... I've been reading all these biographies about Harry Houdini recently, like him, you don't really go into the details, but he's got some good tips to offer to artists coming up, I would say. That may explain how you can get in the building and blend in with the crowd, but how is it that you manage to hang artwork without being noticed? And, and this, these are not always small pieces. No, I mean, some of them are quite big. I think it's um, kind of a testament to the frame of mind most people are in when they're in a museum, really. You know, most people let the world go past them, and they're not really... Um, I don't pay a lot of attention to most things, not even apparently to people with big beards wielding around pieces of art and gluing them up. For instance, in the Met, I was hoping it would last for longer than it did because the Met's famous for... Uh, they hung up a Henry Matisse painting upside down for 42 days, I believe it was, until someone told them it was around the wrong way. <laughs> so I was aiming for at least 42 days, but unfortunately I didn't get that far. Uh, tell us about the piece you hung in the Met. The piece in the Met was a beautiful old oil painting of a society lady that I got hold of, and then I just painted a gas mask over the top of her face and um, stuck her up. Now, do you do you work alone when you actually hang the installations? I do, yeah. You don't want to bring other people into that, really. So it's all your own artwork? Yeah. I mean, I think I thought some of them were quite good. That's why I thought, you know, put, put them in a gallery. Otherwise, they'd just sit at home and no one would see them, right? If you wait for other people to, um, to latch on to what you're doing, you'd be waiting forever. You might as well cut out the middleman and just go stick it in yourself. But what you're doing is illegal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what makes it good fun, right? Mm hmm Now, when you plan this, and I assume that there's a lot of bit of planning that goes into this, are you careful about uh, how far you'll go to skirt the law or make sure you don't cross a line? Well, you can't make an omelet, can you? But, um, you know, I mean, I, I'm kind of a graffiti, career graffiti writer, so it's not in my interest to get arrested very often. It's, it's all about keeping going as long as you can. So, yeah, you have to think about these things. I mean, that's the thing. Mindless vandalism takes a lot more thought than most people would imagine. Banksy, it's been great talking to you. Hey, thank you very much. You can see some of Banksy's works and photos of him hanging his art in New York museums at our website, npr.org.